morning guys uh, uh, we're gonna take a quick break from the uh, uh, 36 uh, tooth indexer and I was playing around yesterday when I was uh, turning the screws uh, turning the heads off just a little bit and I apologize for the furnace it's still cold here in Michigan and uh, I grabbed my uh, Jacobs Collet Chuck the uh, 635 model and I had a little bit of an issue and I'll share that with you and it's going to become the subject of the next House of Broken Dobbs Things Repair because we uh, always have something here that's broken. So anyway, uh, just to show you, I, I didn't mean to film this, I uh, was going to uh, set this up really nicely and apologize for freehanding it here, but I think it would be okay. Uh, this is the uh, Jacob Rubber Flux Collet Chuck. Uh, this is from the Jacob book and uh, the repair manual, which is kind of vague. But uh, in mine, uh, the big hand wheel that you turn for to tighten down the uh, rubber collet uh, is kind of jacked up. So anyway, um, this is the main spindle nose that you put in. Then you put your collet in. And then you have this unlocked. It's a detent right here. You can see the springs. You pull this loose and then you turn the wheel and it in turn threads this in to push the collet in to lock your piece in place. Uh, the receiving part of the collet is back here. This is a, got a nice taper that these go into and these reportedly give an extremely good um, durable fit. So on mine, uh, this wouldn't turn, so it pre <laughs> uh, preempted me to um, go take a look. So as in classic fashion, I took this thing apart. I apologize for not filming it. I'll do a nice job. This thing is filthy. So it was uh, one of those uh, very inexpensive acquisitions, and I probably know why. So anyway, we will get it fixed, though. We can do this. And in this one, I'm taking it to part, so there's really not much to see other than you have one snap ring, and then it taps its way apart. And then down here in the base, there is a very small, small, small snap ring, and then a, like a rubber plug, and then these ball bearings that go around this. They fit into this race, and they fit into a race inside here. Yeah. So there's a race here on this. This is a D13 in my case. And then they fit into this. These were just gummy, gooey, gich. Uh, it's never been maintained. And so, got that apart and started giving it a good look. And this piece right here, which is the locking pin, if you can see the periphery here in the back, these are spaced, I think it's 30 degrees apart. When you push this in, it actually puts this pin in and it will you twist and try to lock and it grabs onto this lock pin. I've seen a lot of guys not do that, but that's you know, here there, that's the way it's supposed to work. So uh, part of the reason mine was locked up was the keyway right here that they show the key and key and screw, uh, which splines into this housing. Uh, this housing here wouldn't spin freely on this. It was all gummed up and rusted. And this key right here, I'll share that with you. Uh, i got to get a better angle for you. Oops, come here, you. You can see that thing is just chowdered up. Now it looks like a keyway that uh, Allen screw is being a little resistive about coming out. I hadn't taken it apart. I wanted to show you just how ugly it was. So that keyway has been chowdered up and you can see that the rust has built up and we've got to get it all cleaned and then we'll take a look at that keyway right there. Now the pin that I mentioned is right here. Right there. That's the one that you push in and it locks. So this guy right here. So this guy needs to be, basically I couldn't find any repair parts for these things whatsoever. So with this one, pretty sure we can make that because guess what? We've got a lathe. And I don't think it's gonna be anything super astoundingly tough. 
Uh, just to give a point of view, uh, this drops in like that for the absolute positive lock. So that's what it's doing, but it was a combination of abuse, neglect, and um, maybe a little overstatement on the via the quality of the component when I was uh, acquired. So anyway, uh, the ball bearings here in the back are seem to be a standard quarter inch. Uh, these are down about mm, about uh, fifteen ten thousandths or so, about a thousandths and a half knocked off of them. Uh, I'll refresh those. There's no reason why I can't. And then we'll be making the pin, and we'll be giving the rest of this thing just a good scrubbing. Um, well, I sure wish Patrick was in the other room and uh, Lance so they could uh, take care of this. <laughs> I'm just having to laugh, guys. You guys do exceptional work. So anyway, uh, the other thing I noticed is in here, if you can see those little detents. Sorry to get a better camera angle here. Some of those are just stuck and gummed up and just not going anywhere. So that'll have to be fixed, but that's not a big deal. And the rest of the components are just grungy, dirty, nasty. And to give you the full effect before you got it there. And this one you can see, this is the one that actually tightens up against the collet to push it in to it to lock it in and just another just grungy dirty rusty and there is a very interesting snap ring a two-piece snap ring that's grungy and dirty and gunky and you get the general idea of what the ball bearings look like yeah there's no reason we can't replace those fortunately looking at the ball bearing races I'm certain that they are worn to some extent but I don't think they've really been harmed I mean, this goes to the quality of the manufacturer if the ball bearing gave up before this it's like ooh, that's really hard there's that better view of that pin sorry we'll get that screw out of there uh, one way or the other and then um, here's the mating races for those ball bearings. Sorry, I'm going freehand this morning. Okay, so that will be the next step. We'll get this thing taken apart further. Um, we'll get it cleaned up further. And then we'll be moving to uh, start the repair. I think it's going to live just fine. These are very expensive. I didn't spend a lot. Um, so, I want to uh, go that way. So, anyway, uh, that's it from today for the House of Broken Dobbs things. Uh, I played another video from yesterday today. Grandkids are visiting, and we'll uh, get back on it quick as we can. Have a great day, everybody.